Hi, I'm Kimberlyn Cahill, owner of Life's Work Yoga in downtown Frederick, and welcome to Good Morning Frederick. Ah, yes. Welcome to Good Morning Frederick. Oh, I didn't have a chance to check how my hair... There we go. Okay. Oh, and I, I was doing a call earlier and I, the light was too bright. There we go. I'm getting myself adjusted. I don't know why every morning it feels like I'm very discombobulated and last minute, but I always am trying to add these great new things to the show, which <laughs> leaves me to running up at the last minute. Anyway, here we are. It is Thursday, September 26th. I'm your host, Danny Gurry. It is actually show number 126 on the 26th. I guess it's our golden birthday here today. Um, and actually, that'll, I guess, be the same tomorrow, too. I didn't even notice it yesterday. I hope you guys are having a good day. Despite the weather outside, I know it can leave you kind of meh, but don't worry about it. Hey, it's all up here. Sunny up here every day. And it is sunny right here at Good Morning Frederick every single day. Let's show you what's going to happen today. Uh, of course, i got some opening messages. And we've always got giveaways for you. Now, they usually now come after um, WFMD's Morning News Express. Today, we only have Bob Miller. Apparently, Chris Michaels has more important people to talk to than us today, but it's all good. Bob will give us our local news, weather, and sports, and then we'll talk about what's happening in Frederick as far as the calendar of events. Boy, it's packed. I spent a couple of hours last night, actually, updating the calendar with tons of information and lots of events going on. Let me just tell you, I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn too much, but the compilation of events in one space, everything that I can get access to. Now, I am just one person. I'm thinking about getting an intern to uh, help me out there. And um, my computer, my other computer's sound is on. Anyway, um, it, it's, it's a big undertaking, but my gosh, use that calendar, use it, use it, use it, because I'm telling you, it's so great to go one space and see everything or as much things that I can find. And then today I talked to Barbara Kirshner Daniel, recently retired pastor and, uh, has decided to make Frederick her permanent home. And we love that because, uh, she's going to give this community back so much as soon as she learns to say no and enjoys her retirement. And then I talked to Sonia Amir Bowie. Now, she is a do-gooder in Frederick. She is also a former Miss Maryland and uh, had a great time talking to her. And I'm going to show you the compilation of when I asked our guests the question, if you only had 24 hours to spend in Frederick, what do you say is a must-do? And I play some of those answers, and I think you'll find that they're very interesting. All right, please subscribe. Oh, and then you can see our total here. Christmas Cash for Kids will be updated next week. So if you can get into the home of everything Frederick, we're open today through Sunday. 
Go buy your Good Morning Frederick merch, please. Please go buy it. And proceeds will go to Christmas Cash for Kids. Each month, I'm going to donate my proceeds from the sale of the merchandise. Subscribe to YouTube. We are now at 944. Just need 56 subscribers to get to 1,000. Let's get over that line before Sunday or Monday. Would be awesome. Ask a friend or two to subscribe. In your general conversation, if you're looking to start a conversation with somebody, say, hey, have you seen that show, Good Morning, Frederick? And, uh, I mean, hopefully they have. But if they haven't, then you can introduce them to this show. And I want to welcome all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing to this show. And if you're like, hey, I don't know, somebody asked me to subscribe, so I did, but I have no idea what this show is all about. Well, it's all about Frederick County, the people, the community, the happenings. Um, I talk to local businesses and nonprofits. We give back as much as possible. It's the best source of crowdfunding I've found. And we've done a lot of really great things so far in our infancy. Just went on live April 1st. And here we are, 155,000 total views across the eight platforms that we stream to every morning at 9 a.m. All right, don't forget about the podcast. If you're in the car, just want to listen, you can find us on Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeart, and other platforms. You can stream us while you're, I don't know, making dinner. Uh, my, my Mama Cone was doing that the other day, streaming the podcast while she was helping me put labels on bags and things like that. Um, all right, let's see what else. Oh, speaking of nonprofits and giving back, I want to thank my friend Dorothy who got two sets of twin sheets sets she found at Walmart on clearance for $5 each. That, my friend, is the way you do it, right? That's what I do. Scour the clearance sections, scan all the prices to see if you can get a better deal. That's what it's all about. So, uh, if you have any twin-sized new bedding, sheets, blankets, comforters, pillows, etc. We are accepting them through Sunday, through Sunday only. And then we're going to call Sleep in Heavenly Peace to come get them. Uh, I'm going to take a photo this weekend because uh, we have quite a pile going, which I appreciate very much. And that is due to your donations, not only of the sheets and the bedding, but also those of you who have donated to my Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, and Zelle, which all of my accounts are there on the screen, and um, I will shop on your behalf this weekend. Happy to. Happy to scour those clearance aisles. Happy to go from store to store. Happy to do whatever is necessary to make our dollars stretch even farther, which is very important right now uh, in this economy for sure. And we want to try to give sleep in heavenly peace, as many sets of bedding as we can, because that means they can build more beds with the funds that they have. Costs about $250 per bed build. That's the wood, the mattress, and the bedding. And if we can take care of the bedding, that's probably, you know, 10% of, uh, 15% of the total cost for every 10, they can build a new bed, which is awesome. So we love that. All right, let's go ahead and get this. What, what Thursday? <laughs> this is a Thursday. Let's get this Thursday morning going. Yes, we would not be here without the support of our sponsors and advertisers. So please, even if you just see some of these people in passing, please tell them thank you for supporting this show, Good Morning Frederick. 
Our show sponsor is We Help You Move. Whether you're moving across the street or somewhere around the country, Nicholas and his team of moving experts make that process so much easier. We Help You Move is veteran-owned and a great supporter of this community. Find them at wehelpyoumove.com. And if you see somebody on social saying, hey, do you know any movers? Please recommend them. I do. They moved me from our townhouse to our storage unit and from storage to the home we're in now. And they did an excellent job. They were very competitively priced and it was local. It's a local business and we like supporting local as much as possible. All right, let's talk about what we have to give you. How about $5 to the Station Market and Cafe? That is the new coffee shop located at the corner of 7th and Bent Streets. It is a really cool space in the sense that most of it is outdoor. And on the outdoor, they've got seating and they've also invite food trucks and other uh, vendors to come and hang out and sell their stuff in the parking lot. So not only can you go in and get some great coffee and pick up some farm produced items, but you can also check out other businesses here in Frederick. We love that. All right. And we've got the, uh, you can text station to 888-465-2944. You can text MDL to win those five Maryland lottery scratch offs. Head to mdlottery.com for all the available games and play responsibly, please. Also, you want to download that. Uh, you don't even have to. Yeah, I think I did download the app. When you download the app, you actually have a scanner right on your phone where you can scan your tickets to see if they are winners. Makes it so much easier than trying to do it all in one place. Um, also, it was great because my husband buys uh, Powerball tickets and Mega Millions <laughs> tickets. He thinks that's the only way we're ever going to make it big. I think we're going to make it big other ways. But anyway, I appreciate him so much. But he had this wallet full of tickets that I just scanned. And uh, he actually had, I think, uh, five tickets that had up to $10. I mean, we never win any. You know, typically, if you don't win the Powerball, you, we were tossing our tickets. We were tossing money away all this time. I got so frustrated. So now I scan all the tickets. I scan all my scratch offs. If I buy them, just, just in case I miss something, double check. It's great. All right. Tree Trekkers, three hour adventure ticket. You're going to text the word tree. 888-465-2944 is the text line. You can add that to your contacts on your phone. If you go ahead and put that in, just put good morning, Frederick. That way, anytime you see something or you have an event or you just want to say hi, or maybe you want to give someone a shout out for their birthday or something like that, you can text 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I try to get to it as soon as I possibly can. Okay. Well, I don't think Bob is here either today, this morning. Uh, I guess they are both not coming. Maybe they are meeting someone together. So anyway, we'll move right along. That makes me sad. But, you know, I, I see where I come on the food chain of uh, importance. So I'm going to text them and see if maybe they can jump on. Let let's do that together, shall we? Let's get to my uh, text here, my group text. And I'm just going to say... Um, Hey guys, I see where I am on the food chain of importance. If you want, I'm happy for you to join later in the show. By the way, I'm texting you live on the show right now. Thank God for voice text. All right. Oh, that, that just went too. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what is happening in this great town of Frederick. We're just going to keep moving right along. That's what we do. We just keep moving right along.
Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Taco Bar. It's Berea Thursday at Taco Bar, and you can find them at West Point Plaza on Route 40. Right between 40 and alternate 40, there's that little strip of land. It's like a V shape, comes down to a point where you head up alternate 40. If you kind of head up toward alternate 40, and then you'll see Taco Bar is right on the end, on that end of the shopping center. You can turn right in and get yourself some delicious Berea today. Berea slow cooked shredded beef. You can get it on your tacos with melted cheese. It gets paired with that beef broth made from those Berea juices. Consomme is so good. You can get a Berea taco, queso Berea, pizza Berea, torta Berea, Berea fries, and more. Remember, you can only get this special at Taco Bar on Thursdays because the meat takes a long time to cook. They want to make sure it's perfect for you. All right, when you want to know what is happening in Frederick, you know where you got to go. You got to go to promocircus.com, and then you're going to click on the events. Let's get that up here. You got to see around everything I got here. All right, promocircus.com is the name of my company that I launched in March. Uh, all right, calendar of events. Here we go. September is winding up. I cannot believe we are in the last week. I love this. All right, Google, here we go. I know there's so many, there's so many events on this calendar. It is unbelievable. I mean, if you look not only from what you see, which is two, four, six, there are 69 more events today. There are 56 additional events. So 61 events tomorrow, 80 events on Saturday. My goodness, it's no wonder we got so much happening here in this town. But if you click on the agenda view, it's going to give you the hour by hour of when things begin. And you're going to be able to see it here. All right. Today is Thursday. The home of everything Frederick is open. They will be open around 11. And uh, so if you have any donations you want to drop off or you want to scoot in there to get your Good Morning Frederick merch, please do so. Today at noon is the Key City Rotary Meeting. If you would like to go with me today as my guest, just text the text line, let me know, and uh, I'd be happy to have you. It is a great group, um, and I think you will enjoy it, and I'd be happy to have you as my guest today. That goes from noon to 1.30. If you can't go today, no problem. We meet the second and fourth Thursdays of every month. Uh, today you can see, I got a lot of the high school sports in as well. I really do think it's a great thing for people to, uh, support local and by supporting your local athletics department, by attending sporting events, you are giving back to your local high schools. Um, alive at five, not sure that is going to happen, uh, because of the weather, but they do announce at noon on their social media. Um, anyway, oh, that he said, oh, walking <laughs> all good. Okay. It, uh, Bob texted me back saying, I sent you a message, which I did not receive, uh, would link me blank something. So walking dog now, anyway, it's all good. It's all good, Bob. Walk the dog. The dog needs to be walked. We are good. We're moving right along. Um, all right. So yeah, double check the social media accounts for Downtown Frederick Partnership. At noon, they will make the call if they are on or not. But either way, WFRE's Country on the Creek is happening at uh, Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar, 7 to 9 p.m. in the evening you can go ahead and head over there and have a good time at Shuck and Shack. They've had some packed evenings on Thursdays. Uh, you can also meet best-selling thriller author today at Curious Iguana. <laughs> He's texting me again. Um, and that is at 12 North Market Street. They do a lot of book signings and meet the author events. You're going to want to check that out. I put a bunch on the calendar um, and added them to it. Uh, let's see. I don't know what he's doing. 
Uh, uh, Friday. Let's just move on. I'm going to not pay attention to that. There are a ton of events called Fall Fest. I, I put about seven on the calendar in October. So this Fall Fest this weekend is at Ever Ready Square and Shab Row. It goes on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday evening, 4 to 9 p.m., They've got all sorts of things like pumpkin carving, community art projects, shopping. There's fall-inspired food and beverages, plus live entertainment all weekend long at Ever Ready Square and Shab Row. You can attend Fall Fest. And uh, actually, the weather on Saturday looks like it's going to be phenomenal. So that's, that's fantastic. Uh, Frederick's Oktoberfest is happening at the Frederick Fairgrounds. A Friday night from 6 to 10 p.m., and you can get your tickets. That benefits Rotary Club of Carroll Creek. And uh, really fun event, live music, um, really great entertainment, and a whole lot of fun. And let's see what else is going on Friday night. Besides the high school sports, Friday night lights, you can attend those as well. On Saturday, tons of things happening on Saturday, including 7 a.m. Walk-A-Mile training with Charm City Run. We talked about the Walk-A-Mile event that is happening to benefit Hartley House. Well, if you would like to run that event, uh, you can do so at, actually, really, the Walk-A-Mile training is for runners. And when you pay to do the training with Charm City coaches, the money benefits walk a mile. So you're not, the walk a mile is just really kind of a gathering. It's not really a big walk. So anyway, you can train with Charm City Run and it will benefit the walk a mile in Hartley House. All right. And Frederick Festival of Flight, of course, is Saturday, nine to four. So glad the weather looks decent. Uh, you can watch the remote control aircraft demonstration at 10. Trooper 3 demonstration is at 1. It is a great event with lots of static or stationary aircraft that the kids can look at and get up close to. And it's a great day to just enjoy our airport. And if you've not been over to the airport, it's really fun. Actually, even it's kind of fun when the big events aren't happening because the planes are taking off and landing, but uh, it would be really cool. And this is all free for the family. Plus I know they're going to have uh, vendors and, and food trucks and all sorts of stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, well, I pulled this uh, yesterday as I was looking through the events, the 175th anniversary celebration of Thermont United Methodist church. That is quite a feat when you think about how um, old that is and how long they have survived. It's pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. You can head there. They have a free event for families from nine to noon. They're going to have lots of fun stuff up there. And we want to congratulate them on their 175th anniversary. Uh, again, look, you got Fall Fun Festival, the Fall Festival. So this one, Summer's Farm Fall Festival is going on this weekend. Then you've got Magnolia Meadows Farms Fall Festival. This is the time of year for all the corn mazes, pumpkin patches, all of that great stuff. And Gaver Farms Fall Fun Festival. And actually, we're going to be talking with Laura, the daughter um, of Gaver Farm. She's coming up in a, an interview next week and uh, to tell us all about the farm life. And uh, But you can head over to Gaver Farm as well. Oh, this got popped on twice. The Middletown Heritage Festival is happening this weekend as well. Uh, and let's see, what else do we have that we wanted to talk about? Um, Oh, again, Frederick's Oktoberfest is from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday night. And then the Everetti Square Shab Row is 11 to 7 on Saturday. And, of course, the home of everything Frederick is open as well. All right. And then on Sunday, we've got the Pooling for Veterans Flea Market at AmVets Post Number 2, The Farm, which is located on 144, right near Tree Trekkers, 
That's from nine to three. I believe you still can get a space if you want. And there's lots of cover uh, available for that one. And it benefits uh, pulling for veterans or just plan to go shop and pick up some great bargains. Um, and we've got the Flying Cows on Sunday at 10 and 11 a.m. at Crestwood. You can uh, do a training session with the players there. The Love for Logan fundraiser event is Sunday, 1130 to 6 p.m. at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. Please go over there. If you want, you can play in the Cornhold Tournament and win some cash. Um, but uh, help this young man. They're covering uh, lots of medical expenses and everything else. It's family friendly. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you're supporting a great family there in uh, at, at, at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. All right. That leads us back to the next week. Lots of great things to do here in Frederick. You can never say there is nothing to do. All right. Don't forget, October 5th. And we're going to be talking about it in more details next week. The Oktoberfest 5K Fun Run benefits Key City Foundation. Remember, we talked to them about lacrosse for all and uh, helping kids with so they can play with no expense, which we love. Canines on the Creek is coming October 26th. You know, it's funny. I was looking at um, going through YouTube and my analytics and somebody has gone through and not liked a bunch of the segment videos with no comments or anything, just a thumbs down. I have no idea if you guys understand how that impacts when, when, you're, when you have low numbers the way I do on YouTube, right? We're not in the millions, not even in the thousands yet, right? Just struggling to get to a thousand. Most of our views for this show come on Facebook. It comes on the Everything Frederick and More page, most of them. And then my personal Facebook page are the two highest views that we get for this show. But it is very important for us to really get engagement on our YouTube channel. So I'm going to ask every one of you today, out of the kindness of your hearts, if you can head to the YouTube channel, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, but just look at videos and just click the like button. Just click the like button. I mean, if it's something you don't like, just scroll along, but really just click. Somebody put a downward thumb on canines on the Creek. How, how do you not like dogs in costume? I mean, really? It, it baffles me. It baffles me. I mean, I'm not upset by it in the sense that I'm personally attacked, but it does affect our engagement. So the comments, the likes, the shares, I know you guys feel like um, you, you don't hear it anymore because we say it all the time, but it is so impactful to small creators like me. Anyway, I'm going to step off that soapbox now. And then uh, the road rally for second chances is November 2nd. It's coming up. I talked to Barbara Swanhart, the executive director, and we're going to feature her next week as well, talking about that great family fun event that's coming up. All right. If you have an event you want included on the calendar, you can email it everything Frederick live at gmail.com. Or of course you can text me a link or Facebook me a link or whatever you want to do. All right, now we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to be back with Barbara Kirshner Daniel and Sonia Amir Bowie, and we're going to listen to the responses to our guests who were asked, if you only had 24 hours in Frederick, what would you say is a must do? We're going to do all of that, and that's coming up right after this.
Ah, yes. I was in Colonial Jewelers last evening. Um, just uh, publicly recently announced uh, my our son, uh, Ash and I's son, Cooper, just got engaged to his high school sweetheart and went to Colonial Jewelers by himself and picked out a ring for her, which is gorgeous. And uh, I, it, they're great. They, so they take care of a 21-year-old and uh, made sure everything was just perfect, which I so appreciate. Um, all right, let's talk about some of the great people who live in this town we call Frederick. Ah, yes, People of Frederick, sponsored by CK Nails, your full service nail and spa salon offering manicures, pedicures, facials, waxing, eyelash extensions, and more. Free cuticle oil combo gel manicure with any pedicure in September. So you have about four days. You can get a pedicure with a free cuticle oil combo gel manicure. I keep Mom, Mama Cone, we need to do this. I keep saying it. And I haven't booked our appointment, but what I can do is go to cknailsfrederick.com. You can get your pricing, book your appointment, see their full list of services. They are right in the Whittier Shopping Center, which is right off. It's Christopher Crossing, but that's what Monocacy Boulevard turns into. So if you're at Monocacy Boulevard and you keep going through uh, past the sheets, then it comes becomes Christopher Crossing, and you just follow that to Whittier, and you can take care of that there. All right, Barbara Kirshner Daniel came to Frederick for a new pastoral role, role being offered. Now, many years later, she's happy to call Frederick her home, and she's looking forward to saying no. Right, Barbara? Say no. All right, here's Barbara Kirshner Daniel. At 401 North Market Street with Barbara Kirshner Daniel, right? That's right. Got That's it. it. Okay. So we are, we've run in a lot of the same circles. I uh, said something to you at your Rotary meeting uh, a couple weeks ago because I've never sat down to chat with you and we've never worked really closely That's on anything. That's right. So yeah. I really, I use this show kind of selfishly <laughs> <laughs> as a way to get to know some people who are doing amazing things in our area and you are one of them. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So. Why don't you just tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got here to Frederick and um, how maybe we can support what you're doing. Okay, great. So um, I'm a native of Philadelphia. Um, I served uh, two churches uh, north of Philadelphia for 23 years um, and then got an, a call, which is what we call in our system, to come and interview at the church here in Frederick at Evangelical Reformed um, United Church of Christ. and. I wasn't thinking about moving, um, but as God often works, I mean, I had this conversation with this group and I was like, wow, these are my people. <laughs> and we had kids in high school. One was a freshman, one was a senior. Mm. And I thought, this is not a good time to move. Um, but one of my friends wisely said, if I was your age and could go to that church in that city, I would go because you're not going to get that opportunity again because the pastors stay forever at yes. ERUCC. They're long, long term. So that's yeah. how I got here. Okay. Um, and when was that? Uh, 2006. Okay. So I served um, 17 years till I retired um, last June. Yeah. yeah. How exciting. Do you have, uh, how, what was your experience like there? Oh, so <laughs> what I really so appreciate about serving that church was I could be the kind of minister that I thought I was called to be. Mm -hmm. um, I always thought the church should not be in an ivory tower separated um, from the community. And ERUCC is definitely a church that encourages its members and its pastor to be leaders in the community. Yeah. So I really had permission um, to be involved in the community in a lot of different ways. And um, so I was able to lead things, but also the congregation could participate. Um, and I think that goes to our core value of we're part of the community and yeah. we want to be a part of uh, building a healthier, more sustainable, more joy-filled 
uh, Frederick, even though it's already a great place. It is, yeah. but it is nice. It yeah. puts the icing on the cake, so yep. to speak. Is there any kind of one thing you're especially proud uh, that you did while you were there? Yeah. So I, I'm going to say, can I do two things? Of okay. course you so, can. So um, our, our church, uh, my predecessor, helped to found the Religious Coalition, which mm. is now Beyond Shelter. Yes. And um, I was very proud to be part of the group that helped to raise the funds for the family shelter. Oh, very I just, I mean, we did provide space in one of our buildings for a rotating shelter. But from the time that started, I thought, this is not sustainable. It's not good for kids to have to pack up every day and move somewhere else. So really proud of that. Yeah, um, that's and great. then the other thing I got in, involved in again through the Religious Coalition was coordinating the Frederick City um, School Supply Drive. Oh, yeah. And, um, and so I was able to do that for 12 years. And I loved, um, I loved school supplies. I loved <laughs> shopping for them. <laughs> I loved the mechanics of, you know, how do we get, you know, 1,700 kids and their parents through here and yeah. and, um, and I just really was proud of that project and um, the last year we did it in person we had over 200 volunteers wow. and we gave uh, school supplies to almost 2,000 uh, kids holy yeah. goodness yeah. that's and amazing they all, they all came in they would pick their backpack and go down the tables and get what they needed and uh, for me it had two two things that were wonderful one was kids got to choose their supplies. Mm. Uh, secondly, it gave people in the community a chance to see who's receiving their donations, right. but also to get a face of our families that yes. um, are struggling. Yeah, it's, not are... Like, it's not like they don't work. It's just like, yeah, no. it's hard. Yes, yeah. yes, for sure. I yeah. was on the board of the United <laughs> Way. It's so, very, very, um, yeah, it, it literally could be the neighbor right next door to you who's working and just not making ends meet. Yeah. We, we, we all get that. So retirement, Yes. what is that like? Well, um, so one of my friends gave me a, a chart that had like the four stages of retirement. <laughs> and the first one is travel, vacation. Yeah. The second is loss. You've, you you kind of grieve the day by day? You, yeah. And then the third stage is trial and error. You're trying stuff out. And then the fourth stage is where you kind of settle into a new way of being. So I spent um, the first eight months traveling everywhere, visiting family, friends, going here, there, and everywhere. And then um, I started this year to think, try some things. You know, like, okay, I'm going to try this, see how it feels, try that, see how it feels. Um, because one of my friends gave me a postcard that said, your new word is no. <laughs> because a lot <laughs> of... Because now that you're yeah, retired, right. everybody's like, well, yeah. Barbara oh, you can have do time. it. You have Barbara, time. Yeah. Barbara's got time. And I thought, I, 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 you know, I did what I usually do, working on something. I'm reading, I'm talking to people. And I found that there were a lot of people who retired that were so glad to have time that they just filled it oh, up. Right. Just, and they were just as busy as they were when they were working. Yeah. And so I thought, okay, if I'm traveling, first of all, I can't say yes to anything because I'm not around. <laughs> right. um, but it also gave me some time and space to think about what yeah. I wanted to work on. So I love not having um, pressures of <laughs> writing a newsletter article or you know coming up with something pithy to say every week. Um, yeah. um, I, I, I do miss um, the church community because sure. I'm in, um, I uh, have a, an agreement not to be involved with the church until a new pastor comes. Right. So that's a loss, yeah, loss of that sure. community. But it gives me a chance to visit some of my colleagues. So I'm visiting all kinds of churches. Oh, and that's having great, fun actually. That way. Yeah, and I'm so proud of my that. colleagues. I'm like, I really <laughs> oh, heard a good really? sermon today. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I didn't know how good you were. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, though. That's really great. And have you found the things you're saying yes to yet, um, or you're still waiting? I'm, I'm still working yeah. on that. Um, I'm doing some uh, voter registration. I'm very concerned about, um, you know, what's what's happening with our election. So I'm working on voter registration, doing some things with Rotary, you know, mm. just once and done yeah. projects. And um, yeah, I mean, I have time now. I can go out to lunch with people that I yes. couldn't do before. And yeah. I joined a cooking club, and I don't even like cooking. So um, <laughs> that, that's my mom thinks that's the funniest thing in the world. So 
That's great. Though. Yeah. Well, well, there's like, your new skill. That's there my new you skill. go. You're going to yeah. check that off. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing the impact that you have when you decide to say yes. Because I yeah. know it will be great. And I know that that church is probably suffering a little bit <laughs> of the loss, too, uh, waiting for a replacement because it's going to be hard to replace oh, you. Well, thank you. Are you yeah. involved in that process at all no. or no? So no. it's completely no, it's, left and, up. You're yeah. done. And so um, what most that, of us though. do is you, you help prepare them to say, this is a transition you yeah. know it, change is not good or bad it's change yes. so this is really an opportunity for the congregation to think about who they are where they're headed which is they did that hard work before I came yeah. and it made my time so wonderful because they had done that work yeah and I was the right person after they had done that work and said okay this is what you need and this is who I am, and it's a good match. Yeah, a good match. Yeah. Well, hopefully they find that again soon. I know that they will. <laughs> and we look forward to yeah. you being a part of our Frederick community even longer. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, it's so Appreciate great to, the time. to have the time I to know. talk with you. It's wonderful. Thanks <laughs> thank, so much. Thank you. All right. I want to thank Barbara for joining me on that. I love getting to know some of our local town. Uh, and I know you see you're out and about all the time. I want to thank everybody. I just asked people to leave a comment to let me know that you're watching. I want to thank Tara. And we've got Karen Hillman. She's the Cozy Castle. Uh, if you haven't been to see her home, you need to. We got Rosaline Fortes. Thank you for joining. Gary Morton. He was featured on our show as well as Josh Marks who was also on our show doing a lot for veterans. We love that. Thank you guys so much for watching and engaging with the show. I really appreciate it. All right. We got to take just one more. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to flip things around here. I am going to go ahead and do, if you only had 24 hours in Frederick, actually, let me just see. Did I even upload that? No, I did not. I'm going to do that right now. We're going to do that while I'm chatting. I could have done that while I was just chatting about other things. But let's see. 24 hours. Mm, compilation. Where is it? Mm, nope. That's not it. That's not it. All right. Well, this is great. I don't even know where I put it. Did I put it under the show today? I don't think I did. All right. Actually, well, let me do what I was originally going to do. I should have just followed my, my timeline here. We're going to take a quick break, and then I'll be back with Sonia Amir Bowie and If You Only Had 24 Hours in Frederick. We're going to be right back just right after this. Dream Free Art, Frederick's first and only splatter room. New location, new beginner-friendly art for shenanigans for all ages. Come fling paint and make a masterpiece in Dream Free Art Splatter Room or join us for a fun and unique art experience. Book your next birthday party, corporate event, date night, or family outing at dreamfreeart.com to unleash your inner artist today. Dream Free Art. Free your creativity. Cosmec Healing handcrafted small batch tinctures and transdermal salves. Double third party tested for quality you can trust. If you've got pain, headaches, or anxiety, our products are here to help you find relief. Patient over profits mindset, because we're patients too. CosmecHealing.com. All right. A&S Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business, and it's right here in Frederick. Right now, take a look around your house. See if you have any wet patches in your ceiling, on your walls, even on your floors, because the water can just travel down and get to the lowest possible spot. If you see anything, call Sandra right away, 301-703-2157, or email info at ansconstruction.net, or of course you can visit the website, ansconstruction.net. You get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. So if you need a repair, she can come out and do that for you as well. But right now is the time. And sometimes the gutters may be the issue. You might have a clogged gutter and she can put that great screen on top of your gutters so that the water gets through, but the leaves and debris do not. They did that for us. Super satisfied with that uh, and uh, took care of that for us as well. All right. So call Sandra, ANS Construction. 
All right, <laughs> I'm back on track. We're going to talk about who is doing good in our neighborhood. Oh, wait, what? What is happening here? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm really losing it. Now I'm losing everything. Here we go. discombobulated doing good in the neighborhood is sponsored by candles by b and l specializing in handcrafted soy wax scented candles they use the finest ingredients and the beautiful candles are free from harmful chemicals candles by b and l woman minority and veteran owned go to candles by b and l.com and you can light up your mood one candle at a time Sonia Amir Bowie says doing good is just part of who she is, thanks to her mom, who instilled in her that giving back was an important part of life. Sonia's done that and more. Meet do-gooder, Sonia Bowie. Now, chalk up, I've spoken to two Miss Marylands in my life. One is the recent crown, Bridget, and this person I'm talking to now, Sonia Amir Bowie, uh, was crowned a few years ago. Um, welcome to Good Morning, Frederick, Sonia. Hi, Danny. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. So I uh, have set these interviews up through the Do Gooder Awards. So uh, are you nominated for an award this year again? I am. I am. And I'm so honored and, and just humbled. Just, it's a wonderful program and I'm excited to be a part of it. <laughs> oh, well, I think it is amazing that we have so many people doing such great things and makes our community just phenomenal. I think though, was it last year that you and your daughter were nominated? Yes. And my daughter took the Youth Do-Gooder Award for 2023. Very proud of her. <laughs> yes. Obviously, the apple does not fall far from that tree. So tell me, uh, now, we were just talking before we started recording. You work at Hood College. I do. And how long have you been there? Almost five years. So okay. I, I work with the doctoral program in organizational leadership. It's a great opportunity for me. That is awesome. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, and I know we'll get to the do-gooding stuff, but I, but I think it's really all interwoven. Tell me about your kind of uh, history with pageants and how this kind of propelled you or, or did it just give you that platform to do great things? I came to this country at a very young age, and I didn't have a lot of mentors and a lot of people to support me throughout the process. And my parents tried everything they could um, with the little resources they had. So fast forward, went through high school, kind of did everything on my own, preparing for college. And then college came along and I went to the University of Maryland. I'm a proud Terrapin. And Ooh. I learned a lot through that process that I was able to give back to my brothers who prepared and also are Terrapins themselves. We're all alumni. Um, and that's when I started seeing that there are a lot of opportunities. And I have always had the the lesson from my mom to serve, to give back, that even with the little bit that you have, you can still make a difference in someone's life. So as I was working on my master's degree, I realized that I was running out of money to go to school. And I was told about the Miss America organization and I said, might as well try if it's free and it gives me opportunities to go to school and gives me scholarship funds, why not? So I tried the first year, made top 10. Uh, second year, I gave it, I uh, skipped it just thinking, okay, I had a great opportunity. This was fun. But then I realized, you know what? I want to give it my all and see if I can actually win this title because the state of Maryland welcomed my family so many years ago. It would be an honor to represent them at the Miss America stage. And I worked hard and won the title of Miss Maryland 2000. And they paid for my entire graduate studies. Plus, I had all of these incredible opportunities to meet, you know, the Ravens who were that they're my team and they were the first Super Bowl champions in 2000. So I had a chance to meet them and uh, had the chance to go to the uh, President Bush's inauguration. I mean, there were just so many incredible opportunities. So 
their big focus is service. And this yeah. America organization wants you to serve and give back. And that's yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome because it didn't stop in 20, you know, in 2000 for you. And I love that because it is truly part of who you are. And I felt that even with Bridget talking yeah. to her newly crowned just this year, uh, her ideas of things that she wants to bring forth and the fact of going to school and all of that, making it possible. I think it's just phenomenal that, um, it, that it exists and you were able to take advantage of it. That's really great. Well, the life skills that people learn as you know, I've known Bridget since she was a teenager competing and I had the pleasure to mock interview her while she was in that whole process. And she's a lovely young woman and she truly represents what the Miss Maryland and Miss America organization is all about. And yeah. I think with the life skills that we learn, we start, we realize that it's not about the crown. It's not about, walking a stage in a beautiful gown. I mean, all those things are the showcase, right? Right. The real work is what happens behind the scenes where you are really working with the community and making an impact. And I think that since that resonated with me, since I was a little girl and learning and watching my mom give back, I continued that. And this just yeah. gave me a bigger platform to do so. Where did your parents emigrate from? My mother is from Bogota, Colombia, and my father is from Pakistan. Oh, wow. So a little fun fact, I was the first multicultural Miss Maryland and so far the only. Really? Yes. I, that's crazy actually to think about that. Interesting. Yes. We need and more South still, Asian and Latinas in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You still volunteer and give back though by coaching and helping. And I know you're really involved in a, in a lot of different uh, organizations mm -hmm. like that. Um, so the do gooder award for you, what currently, what's the passion project currently mm -hmm. where you're giving back? So both with the Miss Maryland organization and distinguished young women, I was introduced to the DYW program, uh, a few years ago, almost 10 years ago. And I loved it so much because it's really about a, a young high school student and nurturing them and giving them these scholarship opportunities. And it's absolutely free to participate in. And what I started doing, going back and forth here um, with the Miss Maryland organization, I established the Miss Maryland sorority in 2016. And I was able to connect and pull in former Miss Marylands. And now we have over 30 of us from 1964 to 2024 that are still involved and are giving back with scholarships. And we established a scholarship award for young women as well. And so we not only mentor and coach, but we also raise funds to help with scholarships. And with Distinguished Young Women, I was asked if I would like to be a volunteer. And over the years, I've just learned that it's not a pageant like Miss Marilyn and Miss America is. Distinguished Young Women is truly about scholastics and service and scholarship. And that's what I love, working with young women who are 16 and 17, who are so new to the world and life and giving them life skills to be able to speak in front of a, a public and the audience, learn how to be confident within themselves and love themselves and respect each other and present their opinions in a kind and gentle way. Yeah, I when I uh I about the same time I learned about distinguished young women. I didn't even know of the organization previous to that and I do love the kind of the the platform I guess of that whole organization is mm -hmm. really about um developing young women who are confident who <clears throat> may overcome uh some of their, you know, uh you know, we all feel self-conscious and want to put on, you know, the best we can. And it really, I think some of that just really uh, reinforces how great each individual is. And I, I just love that about that program. Yes. Yes. And, and the interesting thing is Miss America has been around since 1921, 103 years old. Wow. And Distinguished Young Women has been around since 1958. I didn't even know about it in high school. It would have yeah. been nice to have at least learned about it, but now that is my mission. And the cool <sighs> part is it all comes for full circle. I am now able to award through the partnership that I develop with Hood College. We are awarding in-kind tuition scholarships to Distinguished Young Women 
and the Miss Maryland organization. So we are just so excited because these young women are go-getters and leaders, and that's what we want on campus. <laughs> well, we can't wait till all these uh, beauty girls and smart women walk across that Hood College stage, you know, <laughs> in their gowns, maybe with a crown, maybe not, but no. Look, I think it's really amazing. And I think the fact that the Miss Maryland, Miss America, uh, these pageants are really giving educational opportunities to people who may not have otherwise had it or would have been saddled with hundreds and thousands of dollars of debt. Um, and you learn so much along the way, right? You you develop this opportunity, this this speaking voice. You develop the op you know the confidence to stand in front of hundreds of people on television and perform and and do all these great things i i just think it's wonderful and um we are so happy that frederick is your community that we get the benefit of all the great stuff you're doing i love i i i want to be invited to the next uh reunion of all the miss marylands i think that Done. is phenomenal <laughs> because I know of a couple, uh, I think Jamie Foxx was a little younger than me uh, in Frederick. Uh, I know there's a, we have a lot of mutual friends and I think it's just, that would be a fun party to sit in and, uh, and watch and listen to all the great experience uh, from every one of those women. So can I plug in just a little something interesting and a project that I've been working on with Yemi, the very famous local artist here in Frederick? Yes. We, we have talked. He helped out a lot with some other Hood College items, and he's just a phenomenal, talented man. And I pitched him the idea of how about celebrating Miss Marylands who have impacted Frederick, came from Pre Frederick, live in Frederick, and he loved it. So we are actually working on a mural representing all of the Miss Marylands who have touched Frederick in some way. And oh I'm my <laughs> goodness. That is going to be amazing. So that is going to be, that. how many, how many Miss Marylands though have been from mm -hmm. Frederick? We have Miss Marylands and then years later, the teen program started. So together so far we have 16 and one Virginia Chaw, Miss Maryland. I want to say she was in the eighties. She was the only Miss Maryland who became first runner up to Miss America that year to Debbie Yes, Turner. she she graduated from TJ High School in 1984. Oh. She was the year ahead of me, a year or two, maybe 83. 83 okay. I think cuz she I think she, we were cheerleaders together at TJ oh. High School. Yeah. So you know, you know her well and she's gone on to do amazing things. Now she's in California on the air awesome. <laughs> yes, it's awesome. Well, we are so grateful that you are here. If there's ever anything we can do to support you, you've got us a hundred percent. Um, and, uh, we know that you and your daughter are going to continue <laughs> to keep doing good. And, uh, we're so grateful to be the beneficiaries of that in, uh, in Frederick. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny. And please let anyone know if they have an 11th grader, young lady who wants to try out distinguished young women to reach out to me because you can just go to distinguishedyw.org apply on the website it's free no fundraisers no registration fees it is absolutely free thanks to many of our donors and sponsors and i'm right now accepting applications for the local program of distinguished young women so that's all they have to do is fill it out on the website and i'll be in touch we will make sure I'll put the website up on screen as well. And I'll include it in the, um, when we post this interview, um, so you. that people can get right to you for sure. Thank you, Danny. This was so much fun. I appreciate all that you do for the community. Uh, and I, I'm a big listener always uh, in the morning. <laughs> thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Thank you. All right. I want to thank her. She's so sweet. Oh my gosh. So sweet. So glad she is a part of our community. This portion of Good Morning Frederick is powered by Ken's Automotive and Transmissions. Total car care. Need an oil change or brakes? Ken's Automotive and Transmissions can take care of that. How about exhaust or engine work? Ken's Automotive and Transmissions can do that too. No matter what you need for your car, Ken's Automotive and Transmissions is total car care. Go to kenstrans.com to schedule an appointment today.
All right. 24 hours in Frederick. Oh, this is fun. I asked uh, everybody these questions. Oh, I think I got to go here though. Here we go. Let's start it this way. Travel better with Antietam World Travel Service, your gateway to worry-free journeys. With their extensive network, unmatched experience, and personalized services, you can explore the world with confidence and ease. When you work with Antietam World Travel Service, you get convenience, experience, and connections. Go to AntietamTravel.com now and get started on your dream vacation. All right. Yes. Sponsored by Antietam World Travel Service your gateway to worry free journeys. All right, let me show you what people said. Danny from Good Morning Frederick. If someone called you up and said, hey, I got 24 hours to spend in Frederick, what would you tell them is the must do? Oh, 24 hours, so much pressure. <laughs> wow, that's... A if you, wow, the, oh, wow. The first thing is walk Carroll Creek Promenade. Yeah. National parks. Yeah. I'd say that they definitely need to walk all along the creek and go down into Baker Park. Or go to one of our lovely wineries, breweries, distilleries, because they're all around the county and they're fantastic. <laughs> just to relax, just unwind and, yeah. and, and take advantage. If they like to drink, I'm gonna say the distilleries. Goes back to outdoors, the parks. It's a crazy place. There's just a lot of stuff here you wouldn't expect. A stroll around Baker Park. Mm. They must walk the creek. Well, I'm gonna be like, I'm taking you out on the Appalachian Trail. Yeah. <laughs> right? I love the small town. Are you interested in history? You can spend a whole week. On a road trip yeah. all around Frederick. All of the art galleries that are on Market Street. Yeah. And um, browsing around downtown. A walk downtown for the shops and the restaurants. The City, you know, it's, it's walkable, it's really pretty, it's a very really cute town. Walk Carroll Creek. Walk along Carroll Creek and go to some restaurants. The beautiful, I mean, Thermont, the drive, the country roads. What I am so proud of is how eclectic and different every single little spot is. The covered bridges. Downtown. Head uh, straight downtown towards uh, Market Street and walk either way. Um, you're going to find great food, uh, walk the creek. You're gonna find pleasant people, lots of entertainment. The national and scenic byways that we have. I mean, there's so much, how do you fit it into 24 right. hours? Go take a walk on ba walk around Baker Park. The Delaplane. Downtown on the promenade, walk around a little bit, probably mm. hit a brewery. Yeah. <laughs> the creek at night with the boat. Come downtown and go to different rooms. I've never met a meal that I didn't <laughs> like. I'm partial to Bushwallers. I think you have to go have a pint at Bushwallers. Yeah. not a uh, yeah. Find a city better than Frederick. Eat at a really good restaurant. Walk, walk the strip a bit. Walk the canal. You know, kind of, kind of see Frederick and take it in for what it is. The boats in the winter or the lilies this time of year, and then eat at a good downtown restaurant. Cunningham Falls. You have to go up to Cunningham Falls. My first thing is always the restaurants. All the stores and restaurants downtown, eat, drink, be merry. Go to the common market, yeah. co up. <laughs> Our craft beverage entities. Yeah. Some art. Get in some arts and culture. Walking through downtown and Baker Park. Definitely have to come downtown. You need to walk and shop market to Patrick Street. All of the art galleries. There's breweries, there's wineries, there's gonna get you outside. Basically we're saying downtown Frederick. <laughs> yeah. We obviously do all the shopping, but go to so many good restaurants. I couldn't even pick one. See some live music. Go for a go for a little hike in Gambrel Park or something yeah. like that. Well, I want to say stop by the orchard, of yeah. course. Greenbrier, mm -hmm. that place that's got the beach. My wife likes to say every time we come downtown she says it reminds her of a Hallmark movie. Oh, okay. I would say the restaurants. There's just so much art here. Stop by Baker Park on mm. your way maybe to, maybe Maryland Heights would be a, my favorite hike in Frederick. Yeah. Go to Cunningham Falls State Park. Come downtown for sure. Yeah. Dining. Yeah. Right? A lot of good dining. The restaurants and then the stores. Walk along Carroll Creek and get some food. Our beautiful downtowns, our outdoor recreation. Check out just the, the arts and the music. 
of Frederick. Take a walk in Baker Park. Go through Baker Park. Walk Carroll Creek. You need to take in the downtown. Okay, 24 hours. All right, we start off at Bakehouse. We get delicious bakery from Bakehouse. Then we walk down to Frederick Coffee. We get our delicious coffee there. Then we're gonna walk up Market Street. We are gonna stop by and get some cute stuff from like The Muse. And we're gonna get chocolate from Perfect Truffle. And then we're gonna go down Patrick Street and look at the cutest like mirror balls and vintage stuff over at MC Vintage. And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna get lunch at the Orchard. We're gonna walk up Market Street to go walk off our lunch. And then we're gonna come down Market Street and then we're gonna go to Wine Kitchen and get some delicious dinner with a wonderful bottle of wine. And then hopefully a live at five is happening because it's a Thursday. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have beautiful. a great, yeah, it really is beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, how about that? Are there any that you would have said that uh, they didn't? Well, I'd love to hear them. You can text me and uh, I'd love, I'll get you on camera one time too, to give your suggestions of what you would tell somebody to do if they had 24 hours. All right, coming up tomorrow, Kiki from Out40 Blog. I talked to her, meet her for the first time. What a hoot. She is so sweet. Love her. And uh, I debut content from the high school students at CTC's media class. They interviewed Cameron Korb from the Catoctones. That's tomorrow. Today, please tell a friend about Good Morning Frederick. Help us get to that 1,000 subscribers. Go through and like some of our YouTube videos, please. Offset those thumbs down, people. And uh, get out there. And be great, Frederick. From downtown streets to the Carroll Creek view. There's something special here to feel it. Good morning, Frederick. Rise and shine. A city so lively, gotta make it mine. From downtown town streets to the Carroll Creek view. There's something special here, you feel it too. Your whole standing.